like any political system, like any, especially United States and India, both are very dynamic and very, very active polities. So in US also, uh, this was a special election because two old rivals were contesting against each other. So there was a lot of excitement. Incidentally, this year in the world, 40% of the entire world has seen elections. And US will happen in November. So definitely they were very important and landmark and highly contested elections. So there, first we saw there was an attack on President Trump. Now that part of uh, polity which brought about a lot of heat. Uh, you saw the Republican convention. Uh, understandably, in the immediate, it was helping the Republican Party. And you also were watching over time that they were, especially after the debate, uh, even before that, there have been questions about uh, President Biden's health. And uh, while officially this is not connected, but it is widely believed that uh, issues of health, whether he will be able to serve out the full term, uh, that aspect uh, played on the Democratic Party and uh, he has withdrawn from the contest. Perhaps uh, this is a rare happening where a president who has already got the number of primary votes has stepped back. So in that sense, uh, it's a very interesting political development. So do you think Kamala Harris now stands a chance for... He has already said that he will be the nominee, but will the party accept? And what does it mean for India, sir, this election? Well, uh, firstly, if you look at uh, Vice President Harris, uh, she has three aspects which are very important for any Democrat or within the Democratic Party. Firstly, she is a sitting vice president, so that gives her the first opportunity. Secondly, she is a woman. And thirdly, she is an African-American. Now, in the Democratic Party, being a woman and being an African-American are very important aspects. So, in my understanding, certainly she will get the first shot. And in this additional part is that President Biden has also endorsed her. So the process will play out. At the moment, she is looking to be the leading contender. But as we are watching, the uh, situation is developing. Uh, you have uh, the independent senator, now independent, earlier Democratic mansion, who used to be a very, very influential Democratic uh, senator because when it was 50-50, he could make a lot of difference. And I have interacted a lot with him. Uh, he had very recently become an independent, but uh, today I was uh, watching that he's expressing interest in coming back to Democratic Party and uh, contesting. But if you are asking me at the moment, I think the advantage is with uh, Vice President Harris, and she is likely to be the candidate. So we know now, right now, the position is very evenly balanced, like it can go anywhere. So do, do you think that for India, from India's point of view, it will be uh, any change of policy or it will be same if other party comes? Look, I think at the moment, if you candidly look at it, the position is in favor of Trump right now. But, you know, the U.S. politics is very interesting because the electoral system actually matters on six states. Out of 50, the others are more or less determined. So it's the six shifting states that can make a difference. So with all these developments so far, uh, the general belief is that it's to the advantage of the Republicans. However, this is a challenge for Democrats, but it can also be an opportunity. Because 
whenever you have somebody fresh and new coming in, the person can charge up the atmosphere. So, therefore, when you say that it will be a competitive election, you may be right in coming days. Because, remember, in politics they say even two weeks are too long and the election is only in November. So, therefore, it could become an interesting fight because right now, just after the Republican convention when everything was favoring the Republicans, this development has taken place and this has brought attention of the media, of the politics in U.S. to Democratic Party. Now to your second question. I think what you are asking me is, who is better for yes, India? Yes. I would say that would be a very simplistic question. But the good part is that we have dealt with both. Uh, in 2020, you will recall, uh, President Trump had come to India. He had a very, very successful visit uh, in February, just before the COVID hit. And uh, his public reception in Ahmedabad was much remembered, especially by him and the Republicans. Uh, with Vice President Harris, again, uh, Prime Minister has had a number of good interactions, including the state visit in 2023, uh, where uh, she hosted uh, the lunch for the Prime Minister, and if you look back, you can see the remarks, the warmth in there. So, the personal chemistry should not be a problem. Now, United States and India relationship is robust. There will always be issues. There can be issues of trade, there can be issues of so many other areas. That will come, and I'm sure today both the polities and democracies are very mature. And the relationship has moved ahead. As you know, that number of U.S. companies are investing in India. Uh, that part is continuing. 